This is part 3 of the Weapon Explorer Tutorials, Volumes, Point Elvers and Linking. First off we're doing the volumes, click this little arrow and select the box. Just make a box around the weapon, then right click on it, Object Properties, select Display as Box and Back Face Cull and then OK and this will help it better to see and just simply move the box into position you don't want it big enough to be giant and just fit it inside but you don't want the box so big And I'm simply just going to clone that, edit, clone, copy, and then click OK. And then do the same as you did with the other one. But you only have to select display as box this time. And then you want to click this. And then just simply scale it a bit larger. Then in the middle box, you'll want to name this body underscore vol. Now you will need the vol no matter what with any volume. And the outer box will be select underscore vol. Then select the boxes, go to object properties, user defined, defined and then put volume and then select OK and do this for both boxes and then click OK. On to point helpers Click the arrow and then find helpers, then click point and just simply press down to create a point. Then I'm just going to center it because I find this easier. Move this to the end of the weapon. make sure you have it near the barrel and this will be called for site 3 the next one is the handle let's create another point this is for where it goes on his back so I'll put it around about here then call this one and up now this is a bonus for men of war assault squad where you'll have shells popping out so Create another point. And then I'm going to put it near the ejection. And I am going to call this F X shell. Now 
Now to have the shells pop out in the correct direction, click Hierarchy, Effect Pivot, and you want the X facing the other way, so select and rotate, angle snap lock, then highlight the green and tilt 90 degrees. Now the shells will pop out in the correct direction instead of firing forwards. On to linking all this stuff onto the weapon. Now for a weapon I advised going into the schematic view as it's far easier. And as you can see FX shell, handle, foresight 3, select vault and body vault are just next to it. Highlight these. Select connect. Hover over one of the highlighted boxes. Click drag and let go and as you can see they've all just gone under the S18 which is the weapon model and now they're all connected and they'll probably export with the model. This is the end of part 3.